Right, Shalom, Ya Shalom, and stuff as always by giving all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the Apostle GMS and honors to brothers that done the work in truth, what sincerity. Now, I'm just going to go into a real quick one. This uh, story is a, a few weeks old, but it basically says government under fire as red car, coke ovens, and blast furnace to shut. Now, quick brief background on it basically um you know the company went bust it's just still works company the company went bust and they were basically looking for a new buyer right and but in this period of time the factory wasn't actually outputting any steel but they had to keep the coke ovens on because the the, the thing with the uh, steel work is once those coke ovens are shut once the fire is 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 out you know that that steel plant is as good as dead it's, you know Bringing it back up is takes a, a huge, extraordinary effort, costing millions of pounds, right? And months and months and months of work, right? Now, why am I bringing this out? How is this pertinent to the truth? Well, really and truly, this is like us, man. You know, when we're coming into this, you know, coming to truth, man, the fire, you know, the fire's burning hot. You know, and it's about maintaining the heat of that fire, man. Maintaining that fire, making sure that fire doesn't go out. Like this plant here. Like I said, once a fire goes out, the plant is as good as, you know, it's as good as scrapping it. Because they're all trying to mothball it, you know, so it can be restarted again. But, you know, this is Luke 9, 62. It says, And Yahweh said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom, man. Hey man, once that fire's gone out for good, man. Once, once you're no longer interested in these scriptures, once you're, you know, once you're, you're like, man, fuck this Bible stuff, you know. And then you go back into the world, man. What well, you, you can read, you know, you can listen. You heard what I just read, man. You know, so you have to pray, you know, that you know you you keep loving this Bible stuff, you know, that you keep, you know, that you keep uh, that fire hot. You know, and you know, if you if you feel like the fire is, is going cold, you you know, you may have to do a fast on that, man. Right? This is Revelation. No, it's lucky. This is Revelation three fifteen. It says, "I know that works. That thou art neither cold nor hot. I would I would that work cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm, neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of thy mouth." Right? Basically, man, the Lord wants you to be hot for this thing. And the Lord wants you to be making an effort for this thing and doing the work hardcore. You know, whether that's studying for yourself or doing these videos, man. You know, you got every 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 brother's supposed to be, you know, just, just staying hot. Says Second Timothy two and five says, and if a man also strive for the masteries, yet is he not crowned, except he strive lawfully. Now, now we're trying to get that crown, man. But I basically want to take special interest in this word here, strive, right? It says making great efforts to achieve or obtain, right? And that's you know, and that will help keep that fire burning hot, because you're you're you you're, you're basically having to study constantly, you know, you basically have to you're basically not having to eat, live, breathe this truth, man. You know, something like how when the like there's the uh. One of those NBA guys, man. You, you know, you shoot shooting hoops all damn day until he 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 masters his shot. You know, you got the saying: ten thousand hours. It takes ten thousand hours to uh, master something. Hey, man, we're trying to master this truth, man. You know, we're trying to master our allotted goals. You know, our, our allotted hands in this truth. You know, before people run with that and try to say, you know. You know, within 10,000 hours, I want to become the elders. You know, do the math. The elders have been in this for 30, 30, you know, Apostle has been in this for 30 odd years, man. That's more than 10,000 hours. Right? So it's a strive. Right? And I'm just going to go straight to the point. Put up a fight. Compete. Right? Be able to put up a fight for this truth, man. It says uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 15, study to show that self approved once again, you know, striving, right? A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. He looks like we're working for this thing, man. It says 2 Corinthians 13 and 15, it says, examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves, know ye not your own selves, how that Yahweh shies in you, except ye be reprobates. Right? Like I say, man. 
you have to examine yourself also, you know, whether that fire is burning or not, whether that fire is just about to be extinguished. You know, because you don't want it, you don't want the fire to go out, man. You know, so you know, with that, I'm just gonna say shalom.